Okay guys, good day to you all, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. We're talking a little bit more about the appointment and of this particular individual on your screen. And we have to ask a major, major question, ladies and gentlemen. Is this Michael Ricketts administration getting its act together? I think it is a big question. I think it is a relevant question. Knock up the like button, subscribe and share. Free and easy ways to support the channel. All right. So quickly. Chung confirmed that the JFF board approved the decision with discussions to take place this week on finalizing the contract with JFF president Michael Ricketts. Chung is scheduled to assume office on November the 1st. So clearly, Dennis Chung, you know, which we, we knew for quite some time now that it was looking like he was going to be the man. But it is basically done and dusted. Dennis Chung will be the general secretary of the Jamaica Football Federation going forward. Two things I would like to know quickly. One, how long will this contract be? And two, how much will they be paying this individual? Because there's no way Dennis Chung comes cheap. I am sorry. Patriotism or no patriotism. A man like Dennis Chung does not give up his time and talent for, you know, pennies on the dollar, so to speak. Or, you know, a man of his ilk requires the necessary compensation so to speak right or the, the the compensation that befits a man of his standing right but apart from that apart from that i want to say this right after big up the jamaica football federation after big up michael ricketts and by the way i'm gonna read an article on your screen quickly but before we read the article i just want to big up michael ricketts and i want to big up the Jamaica Football Federation because the fact of the matter is the JFF is heading in the right direction. Look, we beat them when we're supposed to beat them, which is frankly speaking all the time, right? Them ever do foolish everybody and their mother knows the JFF always are the foolishness. But the fact of the matter is there have been some decisions that have been taken in recent times that suggest that the Jamaica Football Federation is heading in the right direction. The appointment of this man on your screen, Dennis Chung, right? One has to arrive at the conclusion that right now, corporate Jamaica has all of a sudden started to take the Jamaica Football Federation seriously. Why? Because when you're dealing with a man of this ilk, ladies and gentlemen, I am of the firm belief already you see I'm of the firm belief there's going to be a lot of sponsorship forthcoming. Already you hear rumblings in the media, in the clean and all of these respective publications that there could be a bump or a boost in sponsorship, right? And given the social capital and the reputation that this individual has, right? Social capital, what? we the average jamaicans call links right the social capital that this man has right the the, the one percenters anybody who is somebody that can financially help the jamaica football federation this man has them on speed dial and most importantly they have him on speed dial i'm of the firm belief that corporate job i'm of the firm belief that corporate jamaica wants to get on board with jamaica's football I believe that. I think the problem was all along that they didn't trust the Federation. See? And the JFF chirping about, oh, corporate Jamaica, you know, needs to support the football and they don't support enough and whatever, whatever, whatever. And this is why I always was upset anytime I heard that rhetoric coming from the Jamaica Football Federation. Because I'm saying, don't try and put this on corporate Jamaica like it is their fault. I believe they want to support, they see the value in aligning themselves with Jamaica's football, but they don't trust you. 
this particular individual running the day-to-day -day operations of the Jamaica Football Federation goes a long, long, long way in corporate Jamaica, trusting the Jamaica Football Federation. Another reason why, you know, we are arriving at the conclusion that the JFF is getting their act together, the hiring of coach Jaime Hal Grimson, right? Now, there seems to be some sort of a strategy being put in place and one of them i believe is that the jff in hiring Jaime al grimson was trying to go about getting the best deal possible in terms of you know not you know breaking the bank so to speak on a coach but trying to find a good coach who they don't have to break the bank on so to speak right and i think that you know that was what they were trying to do with Jaime Hal Grimson. Whether or not it would be successful, time will tell, but at least give them effort. At least there's some sort of a plan in place, some sort of a strategy and a sensible strategic plan in place that on paper makes sense. Um, the execution of it with Jaime Hal Grimson, as I said, time will tell and on the face of it, it's not a it's not bad execution. I don't know if it was great execution. There probably were better deals out there that could have been garnered or could have been made with, you know, you know better deals in terms of bang for buck, but from a bang for, for buck perspective. But at least there's a plan. At least there is a strategy. And these are some of the things that I, why I have to give Michael Ricketts his props. He is the president, the JFF is heading in the right direction. We just have to be real, we just have to be honest. These are two major, major developments. This individual on your screen, Dennis Chung, they, they, they will, will bring to the table things like good governance, accountability, right? Um, integrity, transparency, just a number of aspects that will definitely go a long way in improving the day-to-day -day running of the Jamaica Football Federation and the day-to-day -day operations of the Federation. So off the field, the JFF seems to be making serious attempts to get their act together. On the field, they seem to be making serious attempts to get their act together. I am grateful that Michael Ricketts went for Dennis Chung and it says to me that Piccolo, he could have easily have gone for somebody who could have, he could have been better able to control and who would have, you know, play along, so to speak, for want of a better uh, term. But he went for somebody who he believed would make an impact. I will must give him props for that. We must give him credit for that. And he could have been insecure and saying to himself, you know, by Dennis Strong, I'm going to show me up, you know, so I don't really want to bring them on the into the equation, you know. Credit to him, he did the right thing. Dennis Strong is as good an individual as my critics could have hoped for in becoming the general secretary. Seen, um, in the media, he has been making utterances, Dennis Strong, about improving the transparency this particular article on your screen he speaks about seeking the trust of the fans in the jff right now let me read this because we, we spoke about this some time ago you know where the jff spoke about wanting to improve the relationship with the fan base but the way the thought about the way they were saying they were going to go about it i felt was very flawed this is the article dennis chung is pledging to the jamaica fans to repair the trust that has been fractured and to ensure that they see the goals of the federation are met as he prepares to step into his new role as the jamaica football federation general secretary so this isn't him talking about improving relations with fans by hosting friendly matches at the national stadium which is just which is part of the problem but obviously not the main issue at hand 
right? He's talking about repairing the trust, seeing that the goals of the Federation are met. Chung's appointment was ratified, all right? We, we spoke about that, set to take office the November the 1st. Those issues drew the players, all right? That, that's, everybody knows that already. Um, demanding change from the Federation. Chung said, and that was the players who asked for Wins resignation, Chung said that he hopes to mend fences for the ultimate goal of a quality football product to be realized. This is him being quoted. I understand that there have been trust issues coming from things that quite frankly have been missing in terms of how the Jamaica Football Federation has managed certain things and how the JFF has communicated certain things. So one, he's talking about the management being off and two, the communication being off. Yes, true, this is a nice way of putting it without, you know, admitting to... Because this is admitting that the JFF, frankly speaking, has not gotten it, its act together. It doesn't go into great detail and doesn't really explain the full extent of how all over the place the Jamaica Football Federation is, but at least you can read between the lines, right? And and this is obviously a respectable way of how a Gen Sec or a, a incoming Gen Sec would, would phrase something like this, right? From my perspective, he goes on to say, we are going to do everything that we can to fix it. Our intentions are good. We want them to come to the matches. So this is Chung again basically implying that things haven't been what they are supposed to be from a governance standpoint. Right? And he goes on to talk about, you know, Chung said, these are the fans backing as they prepare for the next summer's World Cup. Then he goes on to say, Hold on, before I read that, let me say this. For both national programs, Chung said he wants equal support for the long-term goal being the elevation of Jamaica's football product internationally. This is all our product, not a private company, you know. This is all our product. You remember Ruda's pizza, this is a, JFF is a private company. This is the product of Jamaica that we are selling and we are going to do everything within our power to ensure that our fans are satisfied. I personally have not heard rhetoric like this from the Federation in quite some time. Chung says that he is not shying away from the difficulties that he will have to navigate and believes a key indicator of the fans' trust in the administration will be their attendance at home games. So he's saying this is an indicator of whether or not the, the trust has been regained. People will continue to criticize and I welcome that, but when I know that our fans are satisfied is when I see them coming out to the games. This is the sort of rhetoric we want to hear from the Jamaica Football Federation. As I said, we'll beat JFF when we'll beat them, but to be fair, they are making serious attempts at getting their act together. Ladies and gentlemen, hit me in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Knock up like button, subscribe and share. Take care, stay safe and until next time.